Robert. He's the author of Rise of the Robots, Technology and the Threat of a Jobless Future. Uh, Martin, I did a story with a group in Southern California, I think it was in 2003, where they were telling me, boy, get ready for robots. They're going to be a big part of our lives. They're going to be in your homes in just a few years. Uh, here we are in 2018. People still bullish about robots. Obviously, there's been some hiccups along the way. Where is the industry today? Well, the industry is progressing very rapidly. I mean, I think it, it's very commonly said that we tend to overestimate how fast things are going to happen in the short term and underestimate the long term. And I think that's sort of the case with robots, but they're definitely having a huge impact in manufacturing environments, in warehouses, uh, in some other places. Eventually, we're also going to see home robots and, and robots in healthcare and so forth. Uh, it's taking a bit more time in those areas because it is technically a, a very tall order to, to get robots to do those things. So what are some of the trends that you're watching? Well, the biggest thing that, that I see now is that robots are becoming more dexterous. They're becoming more like people in terms of things like hand-eye coordination. And, and this really matters for robots in factories and robots in warehouses. You know, the machines are beginning to get to the point where they're doing a lot of the things that it used to be that only people could do. And that's ultimately going to be very disruptive in terms of jobs, I think, and also in terms of making things more efficient. Um, there's also a huge market in terms of robots that will help with health care, especially looking after older people. Uh, this is a big problem here in the United States and most Western countries. And of course, it's also a huge problem in China because they've got a rapidly aging population. So that's an enormous market that I think is going to drive a lot of innovation. And we'll see lots of robots in the future that can help older people get around and, and assisting them with certain tasks and, and that type of thing. Martin, as you know, uh, there, there was this anger uh, in, in the United States that really helped fuel Donald Trump's march to the White House, this uh, Make America Great pitch, jobs being lost overseas because of bad trade deals. But you also hear a lot of experts saying the real threat is you might end up losing your job to a robot. And one review of your book says it's a starting point for a debate about the future of all workers in an age of advancing robotics and looming artificial intelligence systems. So what should we be talking about as a society as we turn the page and move into the future? Right. I think that that's you know, a very important issue. And in fact, I would say that if you look at the kind of anger you're talking about that led to political disruption, I mean, people tended to point to global trade or immigration. Those are the very visible things. But actually, technology during that whole time was progressing very rapidly and was probably having an even bigger impact already in terms of what's happened in the past. Uh, as we look to the future, that's going to be even more true. I mean, these technologies like artificial intelligence and robotics are just going to be incredibly disruptive. That's going to be true here. It's also going to be true in China and in virtually every other country. And so we really need to find a way to talk about that as a society, to begin to confront the issues that that, that is going to bring up. Because if not, I think that we are really headed for more social and political disruption and and, and really kind of a unfortunate situation going forward. Yeah, really uh, great observations there. Martin Ford, thanks so much for your analysis.